Originally released in 2003 on the PS2, Devil May Cry 2 HD is part of the Devil May Cry HD collection. Released in March of 2012, this port featured, as you may have guessed, HD video, although the cutscenes seem to have been upscaled rather than recreated properly. While Devil May Cry 2 is certainly not the most highly regarded title of the series, I still feel as though it is necessary to show off some of the debugging functions used during the creation of this game. Now in this case, I've had to create a kind of hybrid build that uses the debug.xex files combined with the retail version. Unfortunately, due to a miscalculation in how certain Xbox 360 encryption works, a slightly earlier build remains locked away for the time being, although it is most certainly preserved. First, let's take a look at our Patreon campaign. As of the creation of this video, we have seven patrons bringing us that much closer to getting some unique carts dumped and online. Joining our previous supporters are Dave and Jared. I know Jared has been a longtime supporter, so thank you so much to the both of you for helping to preserve some gaming history. Patrons currently have exclusive access to some content that may, or may not, be featured in the future, including a prototype of a certain racing game featuring spectacular crashes. Join the campaign at patreon.com slash p2p online. As you can probably tell, there is a bunch of debug text on the screen. In the menus, one can select a character, and of course there is an awesome level select making things much, much easier to access. Once we get into the game, the position of Dante, or the character you selected, remains on the screen along with some RAM and memory usage. As you can tell, the frame rate in this particular executable is a bit low, but that's kind of to be expected. Pausing allows us to spawn just about any monster in the game, which can be fun to play around with until it crashes anyway. Let's take a look. There's even a texture viewer that shows what has been loaded. Pressing tab on the keyboard, and yes, this is an Xbox 360 build, allows us to jump between different pre-selected points within the mission.
thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe for the latest and greatest in game preservation. And of course, do check out our Patreon campaign. Until next time, thanks for watching.